to truly be the local real estate market expert and agent of choice, you must commit to being a student of the stats, trends, and everything that impacts your local area. So how do you do this? Find out today on the Wandering But Not Lost podcast. This is the Wandering But Not Lost WBNL podcast, where real estate and reality meet. And now your hosts, Jan O'Brien and Matt Emerson. Welcome to the Wandering But Not Lost WBNL podcast, where real estate and reality meet. This is episode 183. You can find all of our show notes over at WBNLpodcast.com. I've only said that a thousand times. I don't know. John O'Brien, this is going to be a good topic today. I love it. Yes, I am telling you, I really have certainly talked about this before, but I am walking the talk now and I feel so empowered because I'm really actually becoming the student of this new market area and I'm actually moved to a new market area. So I I know the stats a little bit about where I'm living currently in Florida, but I really want to work in the Tampa Gulf Coast area, which is completely different than the suburbs of Tampa. And I have um, everything I'm going to talk about today is exactly what I'm doing how it's impacting me and how it's helping me feel confident in talking to people uh, not having a big sphere of influence in this new marketplace and how I think it really, and now the things I'm about to go do, which I'll talk a little bit about, and then we'll, we'll discuss on a future podcast on how I'm using what we're going to talk about today in my lead generation. For you know, it's interesting stuff. because a lot of real estate uh, trends and uh, tricks uh, kind of come and go <laughs> with the market. Stats do not. <laughs> no matter what's happening in the marketplace, uh, being the local expert is going to be your key to um, to standing out. Because if you know what's going on, whether it's good or bad, you're going to be the one with the information to be able to counsel your, your clients. Could so. not agree more. And as always, we have a bunch of resources and things I'm going to talk about today and links and whatnot in the show notes so go over to wbnlpodcast.com right we're in episode 183 that's right wow. shall we jump in let's do it Let so what do i mean when i say be a student of your local market knowing your local market well i'm talking about sort of three key areas okay or three things to do and one is the housing stats and the trends and i think understanding what's happening nationally in that things that happen in our economy and the government that impacts our our local markets as well so i'm going to walk you through what i do and what i recommend and if you if you're a listener you're going to hear me talk about things that i've talked about before but the spin today is just really how i'm adapting it to do business here in vegas with our team and and then here in florida as well so and once again, what Jan's, what Jan's saying about that is so important because, you know, you 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 need to know what's happening locally because that's where people are actually putting their money down and uh, and closing transactions. But they're hearing national news. And Correct. a lot of times it's very different. They go together. So mm-hmm. I want to walk you through that. So I just sort of mentioned it. It's what's happening with the economy, financing, any news that impacts our industry. So I'm going to give you resources on where. How do you have that come to you so you can stay on top of it and pick a couple of these resources? That's what I do. And then you need to do really understand the nuts and bolts of real estate. So, you know, I make the assumption that everyone understands real estate transactions and maybe you do to the level of what you've done for residential sales. But I want to talk about all the different types of programs that are out there from lending to all these things that have popped up in the last few years to help sellers. Uh, So I'm going to talk about a couple of those today because I feel like if you get up to speed with it, you have a different conversation with a potential seller. I mean, our biggest issue during the pandemic for why we have one of the main reasons why we have so little inventory everywhere is sellers were staying put out of the fear of the unknown. We've made, we've made it to this level of where we are with COVID and people are getting a little bit more, maybe I'm seeing more homes come on the market, actually. And I'm also seeing a lot of price reductions, which tells me that we're making this correction now. Yep. Uh, and everything's not so crazily out of control. But the main thing was sellers didn't know where they were going to go. Well, I want to tell you about a couple options. And, and you just have to go look it up. And again, you can go to the show notes and you'll get all the information. So let's, t- let's talk about that. Obviously, resale. That's what most of you probably that listen to us are doing, residential resale. Some of you might be doing commercial or property management. But new construction, if it applies in your area, to me, is just a home run. 
And the only way to know what's happening with new home builders is to study it. Use one of the tools that may come with your MLS. Like for me, in both locations where I'm licensed in Nevada and Florida, I have access to two databases for new homes. One's called Builders Update and the other is called New Home Source Professional. You can start there. It's like having an MLS for new homes. Then, of course, you can just study it and go run around the market, go out and meet the people. But you, if you can talk about, well, Toll Brothers has homes over here. Lennar has this many homes in this area, in this price range. Then you have just a lot more confidence. I do believe we need to understand short sales, foreclosures, and REOs, real estate owned. That could tick up in the coming um, year plus with adjustments from the forbearance and, and all that good stuff happening. But then it's things like lease to own programs. There's one called Think Trio. Um, just go to thinktrio.com. You have to actually get certified and trained on this. But this is a, simply a situation where you may have a buyer who can't get a home right now for some reason to purchase because maybe they need a year on the job or maybe they transitioned to another job like so many people have or maybe they went from being self-employed or uh, in the job to self-employed and they need more time. Think Trio is going to let people go buy a house. This group comes in and purchases it. Basically, you assign it to them in the middle of the closing and then you basically have like a lease option. It's the easiest way to say it. you're making the payments on it, the mortgage payments on it, your lease payments, and you're also working towards purchasing it in the future. <clears throat> okay. That's an interesting program for buyers that can't buy right now. That's right. Then there are cool programs like easy knock and some of the iBuyers buyers out there that are doing um, there's easy knock. And then there's one called knock.com. And uh, these are sale and leaseback programs that let people stay until they find a new house I'm actually working with a client right now is a couple uh, a couple that's in the Denver area and they're using knock.com. So this is how it works. Knock. Knock is like a bridge loan. So you knock will basically cover the it's going to leverage the equity that you have in your home now. So you only have to move once. This is what's so key for so many people. So knock says, hey, go find your house in Florida, the Tampa area, buy it. OK, we're going to give you the you know, uh, they're going to do the financing for them, but we're going to give you the down payment. It's a bridge loan in essence. Um, and, he, and your closing costs, and we will cover up to six months of payments on your other home uh, so that you don't have to make two house payments. Now, what they of course do is a charge a premium for that. They charge some kind of a fee. Nothing's free, but let me just talk through this so you can understand where I'm coming from, where I think it's kind of a cool idea. Uh, and then it's not taking six months to sell their house, right? So when they find a house here, they close on it. Knock will record a second mortgage, a second deed of trust to secure the amount of the amount of the money that they they have like fronted the people basically this bridge loan until they sell their house in Colorado. Then they'll recover that, remove that lien, and uh, they'll cover those payments for them. But of course, they recover it when they sell the, the house in uh, in Colorado. And they also say, if you can't sell your house in six months, here's a backup offer. We'll buy it. I mean, hello. It's yeah. like. It's a convenience thing. So they call it the home swap program. Others have that. There's a ton of eye buyers out there that are options for sellers. Now you have to know about it because when you go on an appointment, you want to talk to people about, you don't want to just go, Oh, you don't want to you know, use one of those cash deals. Um, we, we talked a lot about this when it first came out, right, yeah. Matt, we were yeah. really into working with this and we got the certification through some really cool guys. And, and I think this is, this is, back strong again from offer pad to open door to Zillow to Redfin. I mean, Keller Williams has a whole iBuyer program. You have to be able to speak about it. So, you know, don't sit and talk negatively when you're not even realizing that you may have a seller that is going to go, you know what, I'm, I'm going to go to Zillow offers. Well, you can coordinate all this for them. You could get compensated and help them through this transaction, then sell their house. Okay. So I uh, love it. But, you know, do you know what's out there for investors? Are you up to speed with what 1031 exchanges? I just had a team meeting a week or so ago and our lender, Tammy, came on and talked about this really cool investor program, you know, an investor cash flow program that will let the investor qualify based on the cash flow. OK, never heard of something like that before. Very cool, you know, uh, program that will allow people to invest in homes. OK, the only way you know this is you stay on top of it. Uh, and then I was talking to another friend of mine who is, you know, sadly, this is kind of a, a state of, of, you know, a fallout of, of the pandemic, Matt, is probates are up. Yeah. Why? Because people are passing away yeah. from, naturally, as they normally would, but also from COVID. So getting into the probate business, 
for those folks that didn't, you know, just have a will or don't even have a will or never put their home in a trust or, you know, uh, have to go through probate. And there's a whole process that you can become an expert in. But anyway, the whole point is you have to know how to do all these things in my opinion. Yeah, we just crossed 700,000 deaths in the United States just uh, overnight. Right. Crazy. Right. So that's just how do you get up to speed with the types of transactions. But let's talk about how do you also become the expert in the stats. This is the best thing I could tell you. And if you hear me just say, if you take anything away from today's podcast, then do this one thing. I do it every morning now. You have to uh, study the MLS. So what I have is searches set up. I just, just like if I had a buyer that was looking for everything. So I have searches set up for Dunedin, um, for some other areas. Um, clearly also for anybody that I have clients that I'm looking for their homes, which is also helping me get to know, you know, I have people looking in different areas, which is allowing me to study those areas yeah. so that I can speak about it. But I just get these alerts, just like you would if you were a buyer, your buyer gets rather. And I just go and look and, and I'm like, okay. And it's so intriguing to me because I'm learning about neighborhoods and areas. And even just after a few short weeks of studying uh, you know, a neighborhood. So for example, my sister just purchased a home in on top of the world. It's this really huge 55 plus community that has about 5,000 homes in it. It's been around mm -hmm. since the fifties and they build, build 96 different buildings, all the very active, cool location, 10 minutes from Dunedin and, and Clearwater beach and getting back into Tampa. It's kind of a perfect location just studying this for less than a month, I really understand the market over there because we've previewed properties, looked at, we wrote, you know, uh, we wrote on one and got that accepted. And then, you know, but I just get it every day. And then I'm like, oh, here's another 1400 model on. And then you start looking at the numbers. Now, when you talk to someone who's looking for something like that, I can tell them all about it. This is the general price points. Here's what's going on. Uh, there's three, primarily three different models, you know, and it's just because I started studying it and going and looking at the property. So that's what I highly recommend. You set up the searches, you preview, you preview, you get out, you understand the inventory. Uh, then monthly, get any of the reports. Every MLS association, they all have some kind of report that they give to you at the end of the month. Many of you just don't pay attention to it. So somebody's already gathering all this data for you. In, in, in Florida, they just really do a great job. And even in LVR in my uh, Las Vegas area, you know, the president of the board will put out a video and talk about the numbers. And that's what you need. They do a press release. I gather all that stuff and I use it in my monthly market updates that I do. I'm working on that now, as a matter of fact. Um, so you have to do this, right? And then if you don't understand the stats, you have to do something about that. Go talk to your broker. Uh, give me a call. I'll help you understand it if you need it. Need to. You have to be able to interpret the statistics, look at a report, and be able to tell a layman, you know, somebody who's not statistically inclined or doesn't understand real estate, what all this means to them if they're a buyer or a seller, right? That's right. All right. Now, the next tip, we say it again and again, and I just can't tell you how much of a fan I am for keeping of keeping current matters for national housing trends, but also for content. I, I, over the years, I have tried everything that every damn CRM known to man and real estate agents. Mm -hmm. um, I have tried all different types of products and whatnot. This is the best $29 a month. I actually think I pay the higher one 40 bucks or something. Cause I like to get the social graphics and the videos, but you don't need that. You can just have this $29 a month um, subscription where every, weekday, Monday through Friday, you get a blog post that you could pass along. You could post on your own blog. You could share it on social. It's, it's, it's awesome. I automatically just have it going to my Facebook and LinkedIn every single day. That in itself is worth $29 a month. Uh, they do infographics. And then the best thing that these guys do, David Childers, shout out to the Keeping Current Matters cr uh, crew. It's brilliant. He does a monthly statistics video for agents where he will literally go Here's what's happening in the trends of everything. I mean, they've been talking about everything through the pandemic, to inventory, to what's caused the inventory shortages, to what's going on with the moratorium, to the tenant evictions. And what does that mean to you so that you can turn around and, and talk to your clients? So they'll say, these are the things you should be talking to your clients about. Now, what you can do with that is they give you the transcript. You can download all their slides. You can get 
all of that. And then every Monday he does a breakdown. He takes like a little area and he just does a little deep dive into one of those stats. It's the, it's to me, the aha moment it was a year plus ago when I subscribed to this, I started to finally really understand the stats. And, you know, they've been around for well over a decade and it's been great to watch them actually morph with the technology and uh, and really become so agent centric as far as what they uh, what they uh, provide. It's really a fantastic program. It's awesome. And so we have a referral link. Um, you know, we're an affiliate with them and you will become one, too, because you'll love telling people about it like we do. And what the referral link does is it gives you a twenty five dollar. It's a free trial, first of all, so you can ch check it out. But if you sign up, you end up getting like basically the first month free because they give you a $25 gift card and then we get a month free. So check it out. You won't be, they even have some free stuff. Just go check it out. That is probably the most impactful thing, as I've said, that has helped me understand nationally what's going on. And then I get fired up about digging in and seeing if the trends are the same on a local basis, which they generally are, by the way. All right. So what else? You need to subscribe or bookmark your go-to industry news site. So for me, it's the Association of Realtors, especially the Florida is so huge. It is brilliant. I get something daily from them and they're repurposing content from realtor.com or wherever else. There's always one to two articles a day that I need to read to stay on top of what's happening nationally and, and in Florida. Uh, Inman, I think it's worth uh, subscribing to the Inman. You know, uh, the thing that frustrates most people is that they put all this content out and then you can only read a couple paragraphs and it's a typical <laughs> subscription deal like like it is for a lot of online um, magazines now, right? Not even a whole paragraph sometimes. Uh, exactly. But there is, that is basically the breaking news for the real estate industry. Yeah, it's so good if though. you really want to know what's happening, you know, there's great stuff in Inman as well. And there's a lot of opinion pieces and a lot of other stuff, but I think it's worth it. But you can even get just the realtor.com news. I like housingwire.com for what's trending around the uh, mortgage industry and what's impacting our housing, you know, so there, there, uh, there's a bunch of other things. Uh, I look at Business Insider, but you can get wherever. Bloomberg News has a real estate section, Reuters, um, even Business Insider has some great content. So the point is you don't need all of it. Pick two or three of them and stay up to speed with what's happening. All right. So that's how you become the student. Now let's talk about how do you demonstrate your local knowledge. So now you have it. Well, first of all, I've already alluded to it, but I want to say is that you have confidence when you're speaking to people. Yeah. It's funny. People love to talk about real estate and you can just say, well, did you know that, you know, the average sales price or I was just, you know, doing looking information up and, you know, whatever you, it's a conversation starter and you'll be able to demonstrate your expertise in just normal conversations and social situations. Right, man? I mean, you don't have to be the nerdy nerd. Uh, let me give you the stats, professor statistics or something, but you know what I'm saying? You're going to be able to have a general ability to feel confident about talking about the trends. And before I go forward, I was talking about weekly, but that's what's up here right now. Um, shout out to our friend, David Squire, who has for like five years been tracking the weekly stats in Vegas. And he has me on, I'm so thankful to him. And I need to start this here uh, and, and get into the habit of doing it like he does it every Wednesday. Um, and it's an interesting to track the weekly stats. Now you can go into the MLS at any time and pull these stats, but if you do it each week, you'll build a spreadsheet to start seeing trends. It's fascinating. That, wasn't it fascinating? Yeah, it's always fascinating to see that. I was so looking at your September feel, report and just looking at your September report, just watching the market. It's just, you, you know, there's the, things are shifting. It's interesting. And you start to see it and then, and then it, then because if you if you track it weekly and you've only been looking at the monthly stats then you're looking at the previous month but it's so intriguing and he yeah. tracks things like how many new listings came on the market how many price reductions what's the average and median list and sales price how many how many homes actually closed in the past week uh what's the days on market and it's it's you know it's it gives you indicators and then you watch it over the weeks and it's very interesting to go back and if you have anybody that's an investor that's into the stats, they're going to love this. This is something you could send to people this report on a weekly basis themselves, and they'd feel like they're getting a lot of insider information. Exactly. And on that note, actually, Jan and I were talking, we're going to be putting together a couple free downloads for you guys through Canva, actually, where you will be able to go in and 
and just change the stats out on a weekly basis and then up it, you know, upload it to your, your CRM or wherever you're doing it. This is just an example. If you're watching on YouTube, just of something, obviously this isn't the finished product. We're going to be changing, the, changing this quite a bit to make it more uh, dynamic, but just an infographic on what's going on in the marketplace with the date. All you'll have to do when you come in though, is just change the numbers, right? So the basic format will be set up for you. You're just going to be able to go and update the stats on a weekly basis. You can send that out to your clients and we're going to do another version for you. Easy template that you can customize yourself um, that um, you can send out on a monthly basis as well. Yeah, we're and what I love about this is I was asking Matt to work with me on this because I want to start doing a weekly Instagram and a Facebook, uh, you know, square graphic, but also a story, right? Uh -huh. And then uh, be able to post and then maybe even be able to do something where you could do a quick video maybe a 30 second video and embed it in the Instagram post. Could I do that, man? Is that something yeah. I could do in the You can do uh, all of that. And we'll talk okay. about all of that when we put together a couple right, of different cool. videos coming up on our YouTube. So we'll let you know, but you know what? Subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'll tell you, you're going to get all this information right in your little uh, notifications if you Love subscribe. It. So there you are. So Cool. Thanks, Matt. And that's good. We were just, I was just asking him to help me with that because I really want to just kind of create a branded thing that you do weekly and then then you would want to do something monthly so you could follow five or six key stats like how many how much active inventory is there how many new listings how many went under contract how many price reductions have there been what are the averages and then then you can roll it all up and do a detailed monthly report and this is where you turn your monthly market report into a video that you can post up on youtube that you can repurpose over to your uh, social channels but you're also embedding it into your newsletter just did that. In fact, we're Matt and I are working on our next YouTube video that we're going to have out hopefully next week. Yep. It is going to be a joint uh, training video that we're both going to do on how to create your own hyperlocal newsletter. And Matt's going to show you how to do the the branding and the graphics for in Canva for your newsletter. It's all about creating a template and then just changing things out each month. And it's not difficult. Once you get it set up, right, Matt? That's right. That's that's the whole beauty of all of this. If you have your systems in place, you can do it. You can be very consistent at it. We'll it to you, which is awesome as well. Yep. So a, non, a monthly newsletter. Uh, obviously, the a couple things that I do is I turn the newsletter into a blog post. Then I, sorry, I got the dogs barking today. Dude, then the cool. uh, the blog post. You can text the blog post to your database in case they didn't open up the email. There's just so many cool ways to just touch people because you're getting into studying the stats and then sharing that in a creative way. That's the point I wanted to make in, in this part of the, the segment here. All right, so what else can you do? You can grab uh, one of these graphics from Keeping Current Matters. There's so much content in there. You just may see something that's like, this is great. Here's a great chart explaining what the buyers buyer versus sellers market. And then they'll give you some information in their blog posts. You could take one of their blog posts. I mean, yeah once a week, you could just say, wow, this one's good. And you could just grab that and talk about it. You know, you can share it, put your two cents on it, put it on social, create a video, just put the graphic that they do all the time and just talk about, hey, here's something. Here's just one thing. And, and that's what's kind of interesting. So these are all the ways that you demonstrate your uh, expertise, okay? But by leveraging some of these other tools, right? So these articles could come from anywhere, realtor.com, house sure. wire. Give your two cents and off you go. Now, I mentioned previewing inventory. Uh, that's definitely something that you want to go do is get out. And it's another opportunity for you to talk about it on your social channels and go, you know, I'm out previewing inventory today. I came across this great listing or here's some things that I've been seeing happening. So you can you can take photos, videos, and you can integrate this into your content, you know, that you're, you're doing. Okay. All right. And I think that's really the main things that I wanted to chat about today, right? Yeah, I think so too. So knowing your market, just so to recap, study the stats daily, okay? Go into your MLS, but the key is to have it already set up. So your action items, if you're going to take something from the coach tip for today, this week, is to go if you haven't already done so. Now, you could just log into the MLS and look at everything in your MLS, which might work for you too, because it's already built in. You can see what happened last night, what happened a week ago. You can do all that right from every MLS I've ever logged into the people just, you know, you can just look at that. You can even look at what's going on in my company, right? How many new listings came on my company, which is another cool thing. But I recommend setting up the unique searches for your niches, your neighborhoods, 
Where's the areas that you work, your farms? And set those up. Keep them in your saved searches. You have a place on every dashboard I've seen, Stellar, yeah. Flex MLS, for you to go, here's my top 10 saved searches. And you just look at them and you go study that. You spend 10, 15 minutes a day looking at that as part of your after you do your morning routine. That's what I'm going to suggest that you do. Then you keep studying it. Then you get comfortable. Then you take a few of these ideas we shared with you today and you start. If you're not going to do weekly stats, then at least make a commitment to do a monthly a monthly um, newsletter where you will do a stats update. And uh, that could be a good starting point for a lot of you. Then as you get comfortable with it, you'll feel more comfortable doing something on a weekly basis or sharing a cool article. And the last thing I'll say is go get Keeping Current Matters. I mean, you'll thank me for that. And then you'll be sharing it with all your other realtor friends to say, this is how I, I feel like I'm a rock star because these guys are keeping me informed, right? Anything to add to that, Matthew? I would agree with you. It's just, it's just getting in the, the, the um, getting, getting your routine as with is everything, it? right? So once you do it, you got it. You, you know, your role is to be a consultant. And it, it, there is a lot of uh, uh, need for that right now, I'm going to tell you, because there's a lot yeah, of- Yeah, be a trusted advisor. Exactly. Be Very there good. for people, serve them, and they will They will be, even if they're not ready to buy now. Man, this happens to us all the time, Matt, even on the coaching side. Um, it'll be like, I'm, I'm following the stuff that you're doing or you're putting out. Now I'm ready to go buy a house or now I'm ready to go do some coaching with you. And that's the conversation Matt and I just had earlier today where it was like, you know, you know, and it's so funny. I was watching this guy's video, Eric Preston. I like, I like a lot of his marketing content and he's got a ton of subscribers on his YouTube channel, but he made a comment that backs up what you and I were talking about. He goes, you know, would you go ahead and like and, and subscribe on my channel? I know that 70% of you guys are watching my videos and you haven't subscribed. Yeah. And yeah. I'm like, bingo, Eric. I think that is exactly what the deal is. So I'm going to ask the same thing of you guys, if you're listeners, is would you do us a favor? It does help us other people find us. It helps with the algorithm, especially on YouTube. Um, so a couple things on YouTube, go and just subscribe to our our videos we're putting more content out all the time it's totally free we're sharing not just this podcast but other things matt's already done a matt did a great one on your canva brand kit is up there now how to create i mean things i don't even know all these things in canva and i actually have to call them and say how do i do this brand thing again you know where is it where can i get the colors because i don't use it as much as he does because he does all that but but honestly subscribe and for this podcast go in you know give us a um, wherever your favorite, wherever you listen to the podcast, if it's on one of the podcast platforms, just subscribe and, and give us a review. You know, if it's Apple, you can give us a five star review. It helps other people find us. That would be that's the thing we ask. We 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 feel like we provide a lot of great content and we love doing this. Matt and I are on episode one eighty. What are we three today? One eighty three. We enjoy this. We 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 uh, to me this is a highlight of my week to be able to have some fun chatting and talking about stuff and sharing things and so give us a little love back and we'll keep doing it. And then, you know, while we're on the the the, the uh, track of things to join and things to subscribe to, make sure you go over and join yes. our Dream Builders group in Facebook. We do have a fight, uh, private Facebook group that where we share all of this information that we've been talking about, plus a whole lot more. And then starting this month and just as 18 days from now on the 19th of October, we're going to be doing monthly live uh, workshops where you can ask us anything. And we're going to talk a little bit more about how you can use video in your training this month. So that comes up on the, the 19th, Tuesday, the 19th. Uh, so you'll be getting, uh, hearing more about that over the next, over the coming weeks. But in order to see that you're going to have to become a dream builder. So go to our site. Uh, there's a big green button at the top of our website where you can join the dream builders. We'll let you right in. And when you do that, not only do you get to get into our group, but you also get access to all of our free stuff. So we That's have free stuff courses too. that you will be um, automatically enrolled in. And then we've got probably 13 or 14 different free downloads. And that is growing on a monthly basis. So a lot of free stuff, a lot of good stuff, and some free live um, training where you can actually chat. It'd be kind of fun to interact with some of y'all. So make sure that you join the Dream Builders. You can join our free group coaching call because we're going to have the content to share with you. But we want whoever comes to ask us anything and we're going to give you our advice and we're not going to charge you anything for it. So just come be a part of the community. That's what we say. Good too. stuff, Channel Brian. I love it. Hey, I want to sh uh, do a shout out uh, uh, to um, Walt Disney World celebrating its 50th anniversary today, October 1st. 
Wonderful. 50 years. It makes you feel a little old when places like that start being 50 years old. What the hell's up with that? Well, the one in California is older. And my it's shout out is going to be years to old. the Georgia Bulldogs. I'm wearing my Georgia Bulldogs shirt today. I, I am very excited about my Bulldogs. They are going for their 3-0. They're playing Arkansas tomorrow. I have found my alumni group here. There's two places they meet. So I have found my peeps, my Georgia peeps, amongst all these Florida folks. So that's exciting. And Matt, get ready for it. Hockey preseason has already started. We're into like the second and third games of hockey Whoa, already. Go Ducks. That's very exciting. <laughs> he apparently likes the Anaheim Ducks and he's really Apparently the that's the only team I can name. So here is the thing I want to talk about when getting back to Disney for a second and video. And I think this is really, really interesting. It just shows how everything is morphed, right? YouTube is the master of all. And I'm telling you that is the truth. Um, uh, and with everything, not just real estate, but everything. The Walt Disney Company, you know, they have Disney Plus. They got all this stuff, right? So they are doing a 50th anniversary special on ABC tonight for the thing. It's a two-hour thing with Whoopi Goldberg. But this is fascinating. They got two new shows that are happening, one in Epcot Center and then a new fireworks show at the Magic Kingdom. On Wednesday night, they premiered the Harmonious Water Show at Epcot Center live on YouTube. So wow. I thought that was fascinating. It was like they didn't wait till the Friday show. They didn't put this on Disney Plus. They, it was on YouTube. There was a live uh, thing. And then last night at the Magic Kingdom, live presentation and a rededication ceremony only on YouTube. So wow. hello, if the entertainment giant is using YouTube to reach their audience, because that's where they know their audience is. You should um, too. I would just that perhaps you would probably take the lead on that and just start using YouTube a little bit more in your communication. And Matt, do we have perhaps a course that could help our dear listeners with how to become YouTube experts? We do have a course on that, as a matter of fact. It's only been out for about a month now, uh, YouTube for Real Estate Agents. The the um, price on that, unfortunately, people, we've been telling you this for weeks, the price went up to its normal retail price of three ninety seven today. So you missed out on the one ninety seven. Womp, womp. Insider tip. Tomorrow. Insider tip. Join our free private Facebook group for all the best discounts. That's it. <laughs> you get 10% off all of our courses if you join the Dream Builders. And show. any kind of early thing or special thing we do, you'll hear it there first. So come but, join us. It's free. But let me tell you, getting back to that, $3.97 for that YouTube course is already way under what that course is actually oh, it worth. Is. It literally is building your real your uh, YouTube channel from nothing. Cosmo yeah. Morabi does an incredible job of walking through the steps of just really everything. All the little details that you either don't know how to do or that you forget to do in the process from, you know, just doing your channel art to how you actually choose the name of your channel to all the process of actually creating the videos, the process and the theory and the philosophy behind actually creating your videos and the order that you do it in talks about the beginning, the middle and the end of your video. And then the whole processing and, and, um, and uploading and tags and descriptions. And I mean, it really literally is soup to nuts. So it. it's great stuff. All right. That's it for another amazing week. Happy October 1st. Okay, uh, guys, it's the last quarter of the month. What are you doing to really, as a matter of fact, that is exactly what I want to talk about on the podcast next week. The I was talking to Sharon, one of my coaching clients, and we were talking about the 12 week year. Yeah. <laughs> the last 12 weeks, what are we going to do to get focused and then we'll obviously be talking about business planning as it comes up this month also because to me business planning did you did you happen to know we were going to talk about that you happen to just have 2022 all, all right so october is definitely business planning month so we're probably going to do our podcast uh around this but i want to kick off with next week really how do you finish up the year strong uh, and we'll get into a little bit of pre-business planning and then we'll jump into going through on the podcast. And obviously you can get our free, completely free business planning course. Um, it's time to do it now. You don't wait till the end of the year. You don't wait till January. You start business planning now. You start reviewing your year, making the changes and then buckling down. That's what I'm doing. I'm super excited. I'm, I'm going to put a little challenge together on who's going to finish out the year strong and what are the very specific tactics you're going to do to finish the year strong, get some more listings, uh, which will get you some buyers and, and um, hit your goals for the year if you're a little bit behind or get way ahead for the new year. 
So, so let's think do about that. that next week. I'm writing that down, Matt. That's our topic for next week. I love it. That's perfect. And just think about this. Just I want you to get, get this visual in your head, people, right? Every time you go to a website, every time you go anywhere, you know how it kind of loads and you see the little clock or the little spinning wheel or whatever, the hourglass, whatever's happening on uh, the program you're doing. Just know that when that actually loads, you need to hit the ground running. So think of 2022 the same way. Let me just tell you, get in your head right now. 2022 is loading and you want to make sure that you've got all your stuff ready to go when that's that uh, that day turns around. So 2022 is loading, people. Stick with us. We'll take you through together. We're doing it ourselves. Let's go. All, All right. right, everyone. Get up. Get out. Get over to our site. Get all our stuff and subscribe and be forever wandering but not lost. Go dogs. And go dogs. And ducks. <laughs>